of having a manufacturing company if we have all machines, right? Everybody's thinking that nowadays everything's done by robots. It's not. We can't run the machines unless we have human beings to run them. It's a good job, it's great pay. I'm a WIP technician. It's just a team effort. Forward thinking and progressive and continual improvement. As I said, it's an interesting field a lot of people don't know about. And the future is bright. The tooling department would consist of all of the end mills, drills, taps, inserts, any kind of tool that we're putting in a machine to make a product. I enjoy taking a blueprint, taking a piece of paper, and making it into a part. Um, it's, it's, you know, it, it gives you the satisfaction of the job that you actually do when you can just take something that's not even an actual, it's just a thought on a piece of paper and you can actually turn it into something that is usable for the medical field, the motorsport field. I'm a laser edge manager at a certain position, also known as laser engraving processes, which includes medical implants and instruments. What's important is that at a young age, whether it's grade school, high school, we find avenues to promote manufacturing at a younger age so that you have an idea of what's out there. So you can cater your schooling to be able to enter a field like this successfully. I like to call it a checkered collar workforce. So it's, it's, a, it's a white collar aspect where it's very technical, it's hands on, there's a lot of computer programs, there's SolidWorks, there's Mastercam, there's design, engineering. But just coupled with that is also the ability to work with your hands and install tools in the machine and work that finished product. So you're really marrying that old time machinist that was able to work with his hands but take that high, high technical energy detail mentally and be able to marry those two talents together to make the finished products in today's manufacturing world.